If you're fed up with low FPS and constant stutters ruining your Counter-Strike 2 experience, this video is exactly what you need. I'm going to guide you through a series of simple yet powerful adjustments that will unlock your PC's true performance potential, no matter what kind of setup you have. These changes are designed to give you smoother gameplay, faster response times, and a real competitive edge. So, if you want to play at your best, hit that like button, subscribe for more, and let's get started. Frustrated with the lag and high ping while you play games? So guys, you need gear up boosters. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead, so why not you? Download Gear Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. In the first step of this CS2 FPS boost and stutter fix guide, we're going to clean up Steam by clearing the download cache. This is a quick yet powerful way to remove corrupted or leftover files that may be slowing down Counter-Strike 2 or causing stutters during gameplay. To begin, launch Steam and head to the top left corner where the Steam icon is located. Click it and select Settings from the drop-down menu. Inside the Settings window, navigate to the Downloads tab on the left-hand side. Here you'll find the option labeled Clear Download Cache. Click it and confirm the prompt when it appears. Steam will start clearing out the cache and automatically restart once the process is complete. This step clears out hidden junk and broken downloads that may be quietly interfering with CS2's performance, especially if you've been experiencing lag spikes or inconsistent frame rates after updates. Once Steam relaunches, go into its settings then, friends and chat, and disable features like animated avatars and rich presence. These may seem harmless, but actually consume extra CPU and GPU power, which can lead to FPS drops in fast-paced games like CS2. Next, jump into the interface section within the main Steam settings. Here, turn off options such as smooth scrolling, GPU accelerated rendering of web views, and hardware video decoding. Disabling these reduces the graphical and processing load from Steam's background visuals, freeing up more headroom for CS2 to run smoother, especially on low to mid-end systems. Now head over to the library section and enable the first three options, low bandwidth mode, low performance mode, and disable community content. These settings limit unnecessary background elements inside your Steam library, reducing memory usage and allowing more performance to be dedicated toward running CS2 without background interference. After applying all these tweaks, restart Steam once again to ensure every change takes effect properly. Now we're moving on to a powerful system tweak using an application called ShutUp10, which helps disable hidden Windows features that quietly eat up system resources. Perfect for boosting FPS and reducing stutters in Counter-Strike 2. To get this tool, simply head over to my official website, uptopacks.com. Once you're there, click on the FPS Boost section and locate the post with the same title and thumbnail as this video. You'll recognize it right away. Scroll down a bit and you'll find a direct download link. No ads, no redirects, just a clean, fast, and hassle-free download experience. After you launch the ShutUp10 application, you'll see a list of toggles. Some are already enabled by default as part of the recommended configuration. These default options are safe and performance friendly, but if you're an advanced user, you're free to review and tweak them further. If you've used the app before, it will inform you of any existing changes and give you the option to keep or reset them. Keep in mind though, that major Windows updates often reset these tweaks. So make it a habit to revisit this app after every system update. The tool is organized into two key tabs, current user and local machine. The current user tab includes tweaks for privacy controls, activity history, clipboard syncing, app permission restrictions, Microsoft Edge tracking settings, Windows Sync, Cortana, if you're on Windows 10, the new Windows Copilot AI Assistant, File Explorer options, lock screen behavior, search history, taskbar data collection, and more. Meanwhile, the local machine tab covers similar settings, but also includes deeper tweaks for security policies and Windows update behavior, which can directly influence background processes that affect gaming performance. Before applying any changes, it's smart to export your current configuration. This acts as a backup and can also be used to apply the same tweaks on another PC. Once you're ready, choose from three configuration levels. Green, fully safe and recommended tweaks. Yellow, a mix of safe and moderate. Or all settings, enables everything aggressively. I highly recommend creating a system restore point before applying changes. 
just in case you ever want to roll back. After that, apply the recommended settings and close the app. This single step cuts off a lot of Windows background bloat, telemetry, and data syncing services that are unnecessary for gaming, giving your CPU and RAM more breathing room. For CS2 specifically, this means better FPS stability, lower input lag, and reduced stutters, especially on systems that struggle with background noise from Windows processes. Now it's time to apply some powerful CPU and system level optimizations using the registry folder from the downloaded file. Head to the folder you got from uptopacks.com and open the registry subfolder. Inside, you'll find several registry tweak files, each one targeting different parts of Windows to boost gaming performance and reduce background slowdowns. Just double click each file and confirm the prompt to install. These tweaks silently disable unneeded features, streamline processes, and unlock extra performance tailored for gaming. Once done, go back to the main folder and open the Counter-Strike 2 Priority folder. This section is focused on optimizing how your CPU handles CS2, giving it more focus during intense gameplay. You'll see three registry files based on system types. Low-end PCs, install normal priority. Mid-range systems, go with medium priority. High-end setups, apply high priority. These tweaks fine-tune how your CPU prioritizes CS2, reducing stutters and boosting responsiveness under pressure. Picking the right file ensures smoother gameplay, even in heavy moments like smokes, sprays or clutch retakes. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the Not tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Now let's fine tune a few extra Windows GPU settings to unlock even better performance for Counter-Strike 2. These tweaks may seem minor, but they can make your gameplay feel smoother and more responsive, giving you a competitive edge with higher and more stable FPS. Start by right-clicking anywhere on your desktop and selecting Display Settings from the context menu. In the new window, scroll down until you see Related Settings, then click on Graphics Settings. This will open a panel where you can manage graphics performance features. The first thing to look for here is Hardware Accelerated GPU Scheduling. If your system supports it, turn this feature on. Enabling hardware scheduling allows Windows to handle GPU workloads more efficiently, reducing input lag and improving frame delivery, especially helpful for fast-paced games like CS2. With that activated, it's time to set GPU preferences for Counter-Strike 2 specifically. Still, in the Graphics Settings window, find the drop-down labeled Choose an app to set preference. From the list, select Desktop App, then click Browse. Now, navigate to the folder where CS2 is installed. Typically, you'll find it in your Steam library under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, Game, Bin, Win64. Locate the CS2.exe file, select it, and click Add. Once it appears in the list, click Options next to it. A pop-up will appear giving you three choices. Let Windows decide, power saving, or high performance. Choose high performance. This tells Windows to always use your dedicated GPU for CS2 instead of switching to integrated graphics, ensuring maximum performance every time you launch the game. Finally, click Save to lock in the setting. 
These small changes can prevent GPU throttling, improve consistency and frame pacing, and ultimately reduce stutters, helping you maintain better aim, movement, and reaction time in critical moments of your matches. Now let's move on to optimizing your GPU settings, which can have a significant impact on performance and help eliminate stuttering in Counter-Strike 2. Start by opening the NVIDIA control panel if you're using an NVIDIA GPU, or AMD Radeon settings if you're on an AMD card. For NVIDIA users, go to the left-hand menu and click on Manage 3D Settings under the 3D Settings section. Once you're there, locate the option called Power Management Mode and set it to Prefer Maximum Performance. This ensures your GPU doesn't downclock itself to save power, which can cause frame drops or inconsistent performance in fast-paced games like CS2. Next, scroll down and find the setting for texture filtering, quality. Change this to high performance to reduce the visual load and prioritize rendering speed over image sharpness. This tweak helps your GPU focus on pushing high, stable frame rates instead of wasting resources on minor visual enhancements that offer no competitive advantage. These settings ensure your GPU is consistently running at full strength during CS2 sessions, minimizing micro stutters and maintaining smoother, more responsive gameplay. Adjusting your PC's power settings is a simple but powerful way to boost performance and smooth gameplay in Counter-Strike 2. By default, Windows favors energy saving, which can limit your CPU and GPU during intense moments. Let's fix that by switching to full performance mode. Start by opening the Windows search bar and typing power. From the results, click on choose a power plan. In the power options window, switch your active plan to high performance or ultimate performance if available. This change tells your system to stop throttling performance to save power, allowing your hardware to run at its full potential without being held back by energy saving restrictions. Next, click on change plan settings next to your selected plan, then go further by clicking on change advanced power settings. This brings up a deep level configuration window where we'll make a few key adjustments. First, expand the section labeled PCI Express and set link state power management to off. This disables a power saving feature that can interfere with GPU responsiveness, especially noticeable during fast movements and high refresh gameplay in CS2. Now scroll down to processor power management and expand it. Set both minimum processor state and maximum processor state to 100%. This step ensures your CPU isn't downclocking during idle moments or in between frames maintaining full power at all times, so it's always ready to handle demanding situations without lag or delay. Once you've made these changes, click OK to save everything and close the window. The next crucial step is to disable unnecessary background services that may be consuming valuable system resources and causing performance dips in Counter-Strike 2. To start, open the Start menu, right-click it, and select Run. In the Run dialog box, type msconfig and press Enter, or click OK. This will open the system configuration window. Once inside, switch to the services tab. Before making any changes, make sure to check the box labeled hide all Microsoft services. This filter is essential because it prevents you from accidentally disabling core Windows services that your system needs to run smoothly. Even after hiding Microsoft services, you may still see entries from hardware vendors like Intel, AMD, or Nvidia. It's best to leave these alone unless you fully understand their purpose, as disabling them could affect hardware stability. Next, carefully check the remaining third-party services. Disable any linked to the software you no longer use by unchecking them, but be cautious, as turning off essential services can cause crashes or instability. Once you've disabled the unnecessary services, click Apply and OK to save. And that wraps up today's video. If this guide helped, make sure to drop a like and subscribe Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.